see, we, we've never been examined, as I said, in the, the breakdown of every relationship. Each party in the relationship shares one half the responsibility. That's 50% of the responsibility. So yes, the black man is 50% responsible for the breakdown of our relationships. And we are the other 50% half responsible for the breakdown of our relationships. And I ask black women, if you do not want to accept 50% of the responsibility, what percentage do you accept and how does that behavior manifest? And I guarantee you it's already in my book. Because this list of things that we do, we've just never seen it in print. We've never had it out front. We've never been busted. But now we have the equality we've been crying for. They're busted and so are we. I teach that slavery tampered with nature. When I say that slavery tampered with nature, I mean that a major rite of passage for every male mammal is to protect for a female and her young. Now certainly we know that the black man has been denied that opportunity. He has not been allowed to qualify to protect his woman or provide for them. For them. They have told us that the only provision that the black man is qualified to give us is one of money. We have made finance the major uh, focus of our relationships with them. We have made the one thing that most of them don't even have be the criteria. We have been taught that if they do not give us money, that we are not to even allow them to be a father to their child. We have been taught that if he does not give us money, that he is not qualified to tell us what to do taught that if he does not give us money that he doesn't have any rights in the home. It's whoever is making the money who has the rights. That's not our system. The black man provides more in a black home than just financial support. He provides direction, guidance, gratification, fulfillment, and discipline for our children. Those are the principles that are missing in our home today, which is why our children are savage in the streets. We see those children out there sometimes acting wild and uncivilized and disrespectful because they don't respect anyone because we didn't teach them any respect. We didn't know how. And a lot of times we look at them and we say, yeah, they're out there doing this, and we act like that they drop down out of the sky. But those are our children. We birthed them up out of our womb. They belong to us are responsible for them and for every child that's out there out of control, disrespectful, ignorant, and uneducated. They have a black mother somewhere who failed to do her job and a black father who failed to do his. It is not the responsibility, it is not the responsibility of the American government to raise our children. It is not the responsibility of the American government to support our women. And it certainly is not the responsibility of the American government to hold our man down. This book is to allow us to have a new chance to start all over and say, yes, this is what has happened. I didn't make myself like this. We don't get anything from ourselves. We pick it all up externally. And as we have picked up these bad habits, we can, you know, decide that we are not going to do them. See, what has happened is that we have been turned sisters into kind of like Frankenstein. I think everybody remembers the Frankenstein monster. He had somebody's arms, uh, somebody's legs. He even had somebody else's brain inside of his skull. Oh, he was functional, but he was not himself. And so, yes, we are functional. We have been taught that having a good job means that we are a total success. We have been taught that the solution to all the problems of the black people in America is to get a job with the white people. That's just not the truth. And that's certainly not saying that it is not important for us to have money for food, clothing, and shelter. And it's not saying that we as black women are not strong. I'm here today to represent some of that monumental strength we say we have. That, this does not mean that we are not strong. We don't have to put our man down in order to be strong. I'm just saying that we have used our strength in the wrong direction. We've been using it against our man instead of for him. If we use the kind of strength and influence that we have in this society to support the black man, won't anybody be able to come against him? But every man is judged by his woman, and if his woman say he ain't nothing, then the whole world believes he ain't nothing.
The actual fact is every man himself judge his, his own self by his woman. He can be out in the world being great and the whole world can be kneeling to him. And if he come home and she say, you ain't nothing, you ain't been nothing, then that's what he believes. That's what he believes. Mind elevation. Mind elevation.